quick message before this upload begins. Uh, the reason why I have not uploaded in a week and why you're hearing some cruise ship noises is because we are on a cruise and we are officially engaged. Yay! So if you guys <laughs> want to see all the details on that, check out the family channel. But we are engaged and uh, I couldn't be any more happy. This is, it's been an insane week. It's been so amazing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're back to normal now after now that we're gonna be back when you're seeing this, but um, back to reality. Yeah. So there you go. Enjoy the upload, and again, you can see everything from the engagement on the family channel if you'd like. Beautiful day at Whitmore Chevrolet, and it's always fun when you're here. I could be a TV commercial guy. I guess I I really am a quasi infomercial guy for them after all. But anyway, we're dropping off the Bronco because the Bronco giveaway is over. The Bronco Supra Dual giveaway is over and we're dropping off the Bronco here as always to get detailed. And then in about seven days, seven to 10 days, we'll be calling one of you, one of you watching right now to tell you that you won. I'm excited, can't wait to call you and tell you that you won this awesome Bronco. And Beaver also took in a really interesting trade that I want to check out. Out. Why will they do a color like that on a throwaway car? Like, I'm sorry, but that's what that is. They'll do a color like that on that vehicle, but not on a Corvette. I don't get it. What do you have to do to get me in this vehicle today? I can put you in this bad boy. He's got the... He's got it all, dude. For oh, almost nothing, you say. Now, look at Beaver trying to, trying to upsell me here. Now, this is a 22? 21. 21. 2,500 bucks. 2,500, mine has 21,000. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, he's got the spare, I don't have that. He's got the bead locks. Carbon he's dash. Got the car yes, I, I do want that. I'm just gonna come in here at night and steal the dash out of it <laughs> and swap it, no one will know. So you guys will remember, I kinda, when I got mine, they were really, really rare. They still are, but I had to kinda take what I could get. So he's got, oh, he's got the panoramic. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't have that. And he's got the carbon dash. Look at that, guys. Beautiful carbon dash. I don't have that. Let's swap you out. <sighs> I have too many memories Jeez. with mine. I, I t I'm telling you, I'm all I'm emotional about it deal. now. I know you will. A fair deal. How's that feel? <laughs> it what, feels what's like all the other car lingo. Like, can you see yourself in this? Car salesman. Can you can see you yourself? See yourself? <laughs> you got to think back to when you were out on the floor. It's been a while. I can't stop today. Uh, 2,500 miles. Yeah. Drop you down 18,000 miles for pennies on the dollar. That would, that'd give me a whole nother free year of driving. I do like the carbon and the panoramic. Dang. It's essentially the same spec as the uh, ignition edition. All the equipment, you know how it's, it's like fully loaded fully up. Fully loaded. Yeah, fully dude. loaded. Well, if you guys want a new TRX, hit up Whitmore. Hydro blue. Oh, I think that's the color. It is. Oh, it is. man. It is tempting. Well, if you want a TRX in the best spec ever, in my opinion, make sure you hit them up. Uh, I think it will be, I think it will sell very fast. Oh, yeah. So if you want it, move quick. But, oh man, this is hard. Like I really didn't think it would be hard to turn it down, but Beaver's, it's a good salesman. Still got it. I'm trying, still, <laughs> still got, got it. it. It really is tough. Um, you know, what would you guys do? Do you get where I'm coming from or am I just an idiot? To be clear, like objectively, I'm an idiot because the deal he's offering me is incredible. I'm getting essentially a free truck. I could turn around for the deal I'm getting, I could tomorrow sell it for more than I'm about than I would be paying for it. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I really feel like I have a lot of memories in the TRX and not every vehicle, you know, I don't I buy and sell a lot of vehicles. Not everyone means something to me on an emotional level. And some do, like my ZR1 is just my baby. You know, like I love that car and it is still around by the way. I know some people think I sold it, but it's it's in Texas. I was, uh, you know, putting a lot of money, a lot of money into the Viper, like, 100, like 120 grand into the Viper. But now that the Viper is done, I can put some money back towards the Z and get it rolling again. Uh, but you know, the, the Z means a lot to me. The Viper really doesn't. You know, I think it's an awesome car, but, um, I have no emotional attachment to it. And I don't think it's only because I've had the ZR1 longer. Uh, some cars just connect with us in that way. You know, my truck does, the Z does, the Viper doesn't. Like even the Blazer, the Blazer means a lot to me because it was, I, ha I have a lot of memories and I think it's a really unique, cool thing that I had a vision for. The Viper, as cool as it is, that, like if I had to sell it tomorrow, I'd be like, 
Yeah, whatever. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be shocked to hear me say that. And again, don't get me wrong. Like I like the car. I enjoy driving it. It's awesome, but it doesn't do it for me like the Corvette does. And even right now, like I'm about to go out and drive the C4. I would rather drive that <laughs> than this in a lot of ways because I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm not a Viper guy. I could lie to you guys and say that I have the same passion for every vehicle, but I don't. And I'd rather be honest. I always keep it real with you guys and I'm keeping it real and the truck I feel like I'm attached to. So even though it might be the wrong financial move, maybe it's the right move for me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you can relate. Neighbor Rich over here installing his new mods. So check out his channel to uh, get the info on that. Hell yeah, buddy. And uh, we can talk about jumping it sometime. Yeah. You know? um, it might not be in this lifetime. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a shame that the interior isn't in better shape because it actually drives so freaking good. Like the interior is beat, but it like, <laughs> it's kind of falling apart, but it drives nice. It's got a little cam, it feels good. Go for a downshift. Oh, it really does feel good. It's a good little driver. The engine feels strong. <laughs> Torquey. It does pull to the right, so I have to get my hand back on the wheel very fast. But uh, yeah, I mean, it feels strong, it feels fun. Now apparently these things fall on their face after 4,500, but down low, they got good torque. They really do. It pulls good from like 2,000. Pretty decent for the price I paid. I mean, again, it's not anything special, but... This is what the C4 was made for. Look at this here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually unbelievably smooth, given the fact that it, <laughs> it's a Corvette driving in the grass on a bumpy field right now. She's a ripper, how about it? It's sick, it's like the pace car for NASCAR. Yeah, did you see that? Look at it, here, film this. That thing is sick. People gotta see this shit. Thing sounds great, oh my God. Mike's always like, I'm gonna go on Facebook Marketplace and buy something cool. And he always finds the cool stuff. <laughs> the one headlight up really uh, adds to the touch. sticker here. She sounds good, doesn't she? She sounds great, Sounds man. great. It's got a little baby cam in her. Racing seats? Oh, I love it, man. Beautiful. Corvette racing. Move your truck, I'm jumping. You're gonna jump it? Yeah. Everything must be jumped. The nose is high, but the body ain't. Yeah, a little body scraping, that's all right. Ready? Yes, sir. We got Mike out here. I strategically placed my truck so he can't bail out unless he just runs me over. Got enough speed here. Oh. Speed here. Oh. oh no. That was probably a little uncomfortable. He's got that harness on though. The headlights reversed. It's gonna shine back. You know? How'd that, how'd that feel? Uh, yeah, you're a little slow, buddy. The back end slap. Hang on, I think you gotta fix your headlight here. There we go. A little splat. What, how fast were you what going? What happened? Though? I said 35. You were going way too slow. Too slow. All yeah. Right, let's try. Let's get it crazy. Yeah, hit it. I want what's best for him, man. I don't want him to end in catastrophic failure. 
I should have been like, man, way too fast. You gotta go slower than that. Dude, that thing, he ruined the ramp. Oh my God. All right, round number two here. He's probably gonna give it a lot more than it needs to. I'm actually surprised it held together that good. The headlights back up. Oh, that's fast. There we go. That's the game. Oh, that's fast. There we go. That's the game. Yes. That's the one. Second jump, way cleaner here. Oh, yeah. Dude, I gotta tell you, that was smooth. That was great. I that one was you, good. I love this thing. You're gonna watch the first one and be like, Ouch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was that great. Bad, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, I well, mean, I definitely felt like, oh, I didn't hit that fast enough. But well, these things are built for that suspension yeah, wise. Cool. Hey, ready to go. Hey, Something sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, leave her there. Let it cool down for a little bit. Yep. It seems like a good, safe spot to park. Yeah, this is good. Like, I don't think nothing bad ever happens. There's not gonna be anyone else around this area. No. Uh, the trans did get louder after the first jump, so it might have pushed it up into the car. Okay. All right. Because for the C4, this is before they went to a rear-mounted trans, so it's still up front. And I landed, and it got a lot. The, like the trans itself got a lot louder. Dude, honestly, I really kind of thought like, oh damn, I'm gonna land the first one. It's gonna explode. You really thought that? I, I really did, yeah. All right. Well, it didn't. Sure. You're good. Yeah. I mean, end, it's so low and everything. That's why it's louder. Look, guys, my whole exhaust separated. Well, your trans is fine then. Yeah, everything else go. is fine. Dude, the whole exhaust came off. <laughs> just fell. Can you guys see that at all? Dude, now that it matches the Jeep perfectly. Just fell off. Other than that, I mean, look, we're not leaking nothing. We're good to go, boys. Come here, how come your headlights are, are being all goofy, I man? I, I hate yeah. that. I wish that wouldn't happen. Dude, like that, that Corvette just jumped a 25 foot gap and is completely fine. I'm still nervous though. I, I don't know why, I'm still nervous. I feel like I have a lot more to lose here. Heater. It's a heat, man. Yes, uh, Michael Jordan. You got the Ron Michael Jordan. jump over this gap. You think he could? Yeah, I think he could. Man, honestly, like full speed LeBron James. LeBron kind of looks like his hairline. He can't jump over his hairline, but he could definitely jump over this. Full speed from there to there. He's like seven feet tall. I think he could do it. I think he could do it. Yeah, we should get him out here. Because I think I could make it like to here. Yeah, with injury, yeah. I think yeah. I could get there. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could running and jump over your bet. I could definitely do it. I'll do it right now. Just, just jump on it. Yeah. See there right you over. go. Hot, Wait, hang on. All right, go. Okay, now here. Whoa, dude. I just jump on it. Whoa, dude. I told you right over. Wow, man. Truck is really nice. So Bobby's new ZR2. When are we getting the TRX versus ZR2 video? Whenever you want, man. I'm down to go to Roush. Full comparison. No, I'm not going to off-road mine. Well, I'll, I I see. I make no bones about it. I'm a big puss when it comes to my, I just, my truck. I'll jump it. I've jumped it many times. Yeah, I've jumped it. And I'll launch it and I'll take it on the beach and I'll take it up Imogene Pass, but I will not go to Roush Creek because I, I know to. what will happen. I'll do something do and I'll regret it. You don't have to do it. I, it has to be done. No one is going to off-road their ZR2 as aggressive as we do on my channel. That's true, but I just, man, it's so nice. I think it's safe to say I have off-roaded my Colorado ZR2 more than anyone in terms of Oh, absolutely. That's what I said in I Bobby's be video. On your channel. No, it's not on my channel, but I said it. I was filming for him and I said it. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone prove a Colorado ZR2 like Bobby has. I mean, he killed that truck for his channel and it, the content was insane. That truck did insane things. It did do insane things. It did insane things. With very little injury, it was the stupid stuff that yeah. broke it. Like, like just the overly... diff broke, but what yeah. can you do? I like the screen, screen's good. Big upgrade for GM here. Yep. And the yep. dash, got a full digital gauge cluster there. Oh, it's, and this nice. thing fires up, you open the door and stuff, like it's a, it's like a cool little cool light graphic. show it gives you. That's sweet. Yeah. I like it. I like the, the little things and I wish Chevy would do more of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. I know it was a little bit random with the well, the Corvette jumping, that's always fun, but then the Bronco and the TRX. And again, let me know what you think of the TRX thing. Would you buy a new one or do I make sense, you know, keeping something because I am a little bit emotionally attached, but it was a really awesome week for us and a huge moment for Gene and I. And thank you guys for the awesome comments on the IG post. And we love reading through all the, uh, all the great comments and the wishes from all you, all you guys. It's really cool to see. And it's cool to include you guys in that moment. We share 
pretty much all of our life uh, and our lives together on social media. Um, so it was only fitting that, you know, we put up a post and you guys all got to be a part of that as well. Um, I know that many of you have been waiting for a long time for it, but I wanted to make it really special and perfect. And we're both, you know, we have our careers and we're very busy people and we love to travel. Um, so I really like wanted it to be the exact right moment. I've had the ring for over a year. It's been, <laughs> it's been kind of tough to keep it a secret for that long. Um, but I knew I had to because once word gets out, it gets out. And I wanted it again to be, Look, I know real life isn't like the movies, so nothing is ever perfect, but I wanted it to be as close to perfect as I could possibly make it, and I think I pulled it off. It was incredible. Again, if you guys want to see the whole video from the day, Gina was filming as a normal vlog. She had no idea it was going to be a proposal vlog, but if you want to see all that footage, all the all the behind the scenes, it will be on the Mike and Gina uh, video, the Mike and Gina YouTube channel on the video from that day. So we have all that on film as well. And I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, but yes, thank you for everything and hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did give it a big thumbs up, I'll see you in the next one.